Uh, as a little kid, I grew up in Littleton, Colorado, and uh, my old man would bring us up here and go skiing all the time. And, and then in uh, high school, we had a, a deal with uh, Breckenridge Ski Corp, or the ski area, and we could get tickets for next to nothing. And, and in high school, I got out of high school and got in a little trouble. And the best advice the judge could give me is to join the Army, go to Vietnam, or get out of town. So, so I came to Breckenridge, and, and some friends were living above the gold pan, and uh, I got a place to live and uh, a job, you know, skiing every day and making $1.50 an hour and washing dishes, you know. And it was just great. It was a perfect move for me. Oh, there's a lot of them. I don't know. Uh, just the gold pan days and uh, the characters that came through this town, you know, I think about them all the time and, and just can't believe uh, you know, the character that came and went. You know, it was uh, a lot of good people, a lot of strange people, uh, and a lot of good, good loving people, good, good girls, good uh, love affairs, and uh, it just. Uh, and the skiing was always there. The skiing was was stellar from day one. You know, if you got a trust fund, give it back and work for a living. You know, you can't be a true ski bum unless you work a little bit. You know, but the skiing is is worth it, and uh, you know the memories will be with you forever. Easy peasy, Japanesey. It was anything went in the late '60s, early '70s. I mean. You could do uh, just about anything and fit right in. You know, it was it was pretty pretty special.